it's sort of like, oh, yeesh, you know, you're going to do what to me, where, with what kind of a device? You just hear the word colonoscopy and you're like, oh, I don't want to go through that. I didn't want to do the stool test because I thought it was just gross. The sigmoidoscopy seemed embarrassing. How far are they going in? And like, uh, can they cause more damage than them, any benefit that I'm getting out of? But I was getting information from people who hadn't had the procedure done when I decided, well, I need to find out for myself. I mean, if somebody did tell me, you're gonna have to drink that nasty stuff. But I said, can I put some sugar in this? <laughs> they said, no. There is a big screen there, so you can actually watch your own colonoscopy. I'm not one of those people. I just, you know, get me in, put me on the slab, do the thing, and get me out. Okay, how am I going to get poop on a stick? <laughs> uh, everybody was saying that my gas sounded like a truck horn. <laughs> I didn't mean to be that graphic, but it's the truth. Stool test was not as gross as I thought it was going to be. I was so surprised how painless it was. You think to yourself, why did I agonize over that? I think I worried over nothing. My goal is to be as healthy for as long as possible. Boy, I want to live to be 100, maybe a little more if I stop eating ice cream.